والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise for Allah, Lord of the worlds And peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, his companions And all those who strive to follow in their footsteps Welcome my dear viewers, brothers and sisters To another episode of Quran and Science brought to you from Huda TV My name is Sharif Attuni And in this topic we will be speaking about this miraculous uh, barrier uh, that separates between the salt, salt sea and the sweet sea. Uh, for this explanation, for this scientific explanation, we have with us in the studio Professor of Geology, Zaghlul Nagar. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to the show, sir. Assalamu alaikum. like also to introduce my uh, guests and brothers uh, here in this episode for questions regarding this topic. So I have with me Abdul Halim Khalil and Abdul Rahman Ismail. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to the show. Sir. Okay, uh, before we move on to further explanation about uh, this uh, scientific uh, uh, reason for, for, for this barrier between the sweet and salt sea, uh, or sweet and salt water, uh, I'll leave you with this verse, this holy verse from Surah Al-Furqan, and we'll return back, so stay tuned. <laughs> It is he who merged the two bodies of water, one palatable and sweet, and the other salty and bitter and placed between them a barrier forbidden to pass. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back. You're watching Quran and Science. As I mentioned uh, in the previous segment, this edition or this episode is all about the barrier between the sweet and the salty uh, water. So uh, uh, this was uh, Surah Al-Furqan, uh, uh, the, the 53rd verse uh, uh, of uh, Surah Al-Furqan. And now I'll ask my brothers what uh, the meanings that they're getting from uh, this uh, verse, so I'll start first with Abdul Halim. Uh, the verse, from what I understand, is the two waters, the two different types of waters meet, but they don't mix. Yes. The salt and the, and the fresh water. And uh, what it means is that we must remember that uh, Allah, He is the one who created the laws of physics and the laws of uh, all of the, the science. Only His creations are bound. By this. So if we put salt and the fresh water, they'll mix yes. right away. But Allah in the big ocean, the huge ocean, they'll never mix. Mm -hmm. It's an everlasting miracle. Okay. Only, only Allah could, uh, could break the law of physics that he made for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I absolutely agree with uh, my brother Abdul Halim. Beautiful words uh, from Abdul Halim. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is exactly what the verse says. And... Uh, uh, the, the verse is describing the operation uh, Here the water comes in the river from its head to its end And whenever you hear about a uh, sea overwhelming a river uh, yes. As far as I know, this has yes. never happened before Okay, let's, n let's know more uh, uh, from the scientific opinion uh, from Professor Zarul Nangar I praise Allah, the Almighty, our Lord, our Creator The Creator of everything in that universe and I greet you all in our Islamic way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah's peace, blessings, and mercy be with you all. Um, of course, we know that the water cycle around the earth is one of the mir miracles of the Creator. Because without this water cycle, all the water on earth was, would have rotted uh, in no time, would have been impotable and not suitable for drinking or for e even agriculture. Because in every cubic millimeter of water, we have actually thousands of living beings that live and die in it every second. So when the rain first came down on the surface of that globe, it uh, rushed from the peaks of mountains towards the lower areas, depressed areas, and infilled these depressed areas to constitute oceans and seas. These oceans and seas started initially with fresh water. So much so that the repetition of the cycle, you see, you add salinity to the oceanic waters. The more cycle that goes on, the more saline these oceanic waters 
uh, become. become. And actually, in the early days of geology, we used to use the salinity of the oceanic waters as a means to estimate the age of the earth. You can calculate how much salt is added annually to these uh, season oceans, and you can calculate the volume of these depressed areas and the average salinity of the water, and you get the total amount of salt. Dividing that by the annual increment of, uh, of, uh, of this uh, salt, you can give, get an estimate, a rough estimate about how old is the earth. So finally, the oceanic waters became saline, and uh, the fresh water, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala planned that the sun rays would evaporate uh, the uh, some of that water uh, to bring it uh, down to earth as fresh water uh, for life to continue to exist and uh, we have 380,000 cubic kilometers of water evaporated annually from both the land and sea 60 million uh, of those come from land and the rest come from the sea and we get more rain we actually 96,000 cubic kilometers of fresh water come to land and the plus 36,000 kilometers flow to the sea. So we have a, a very well-planned system. And in that very well... And is it con constant? No. Is it, con is, is it a constant? Uh, a constant, yes. It is okay. very constant. Uh, to indicate to every sane person how wonderful the build-up of our globe and of the universe at large is. Yes. And um, uh, by continuing this process... Um, of course, uh, we had two different types of waters, fresh water on land and saline water in oceans and seas. And how could uh, a river flow into a sea without intermingling and mixing with the saline water? Usually rivers flow from high elevations to the zero level, the sea level. So the rush of the water due to that head can allow the fresh water to move into the sea or into the ocean for actually hundreds of kilometers without mixing with the saline water. And in many areas, you can get in front of the delta uh, of a river, you get a buried delta, a delta under the sea. And in that delta under the sea, you will get two sides built of sediment and a barrier at the, at the, top, at the front or at the, uh, the head of it. And this barrier...